All right, so an interesting storyline, no matter who the winner is here, is either David Hughes repeating as champion of the Suitland Bowl for his second star. I think he's this year. Or it's Bernie Hipkins standing alone with a dozen. Or was it 12? Be going to the, call it the Dave Jones Championship pair of 17 and 18. This is where Dave pulled off his incredible spare conversion it was on lane 18 20 years ago to win his first and only men's pro tour Bernie taking a test slide here all right make sure they're ready to start and here goes Bernie Hipkins for star number 12 which would be a record Still gonna let that spin. It'll be a seven pin for Bernie. Seven pin. Oh, another trouble. In the face. Opening spare for Bernie and for David. It's been not quite a full calendar year, but he was in the same position last year, same jersey, just minus a star. But today going for number I, two on I, the same set of lanes. I like his chance. See what David can do here on the good one. And he strikes. And he strikes. Not even an arm swing, but a light swishing hit in the one three. Seven pin last to go. I feel like those mixed balls like that carry so much better than like the perfect hit. And you're gonna see something, in, although they have different ways of getting it done, you're gonna see something in common here between David and Bernie. You got two guys that um, routinely bowl in wood lane houses, and two guys that know to get the ball down and let it roll. Um, trying, to, trying to give it a crap ton of loft uh, in this house, even even though you're talking Zamboni smooth wood, you're 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 gonna get bounces. Wait on that ball to come back. Add in there real quick. Right around 200 of you joining us live for the finals. Appreciate it. If you're liking what you're watching today, you can check out that bottom left corner of the screen where that coffee cup is. Donate to our Ko-Fi account. You can also hit the join button on YouTube. Become a Duck Dance Forever Pro member. Just $10 a month. There we go. David Hughes for the opening double. And off the side better than it could have been. One nine. He was a one nine kind of shaking his head at that ball, but a makeable shot, and the yeah. way his ball drifts, he's got to punch left to right. He's got to punch the head pin over. Um, coming in from the right, if you were coming in from the right, you could a little more easily get the ball to carry both pins, but that's what I'm talking Ooh. about. That ball, when David's throwing that ball left to right, if it doesn't hit that head pin really square, it's going to over deflect and he'll miss. All right. Well, 19 is not too bad on your strike. Yeah, 10 out. That is wood. And every pin's important. I mean, you see where David dropped pins in that last game at the end of the game. He dropped three pins in the ninth and one in the tenth, and he ends up tying the game. Yeah. Clearing the deck is Mark, so important. Mark Klingelhofer should have absolutely been on a double in the tenth frame, but dropped pins can can totally alter the, the course of those final frames. This is a spare kill for Bernie. He is rock eight. solid eight off the deck. Four seven. Okay. It's a makeable. He's a right and left guy. The only way he I see him miss this is fix it or yep. seven pins. Starts on the front set of dots with three step approach. And the ball will lay down early and it'll just walk right to left. Got he it. Goes. So advantage Bernie Hipkins through two up. 
up on a hit. Down one pin, 29-28. A little, uh, a little detail on this uh, championship pair is the uh, presence of the word uh, Sherman on the machines when they come down and set the pins. Um, that was an additional, an optional accessory uh, back in the day, and those are um, identical reproductions uh, as cool. um, a way of preserving the history. Ten pin for Bernie. 37-29, eight pin lead. This is one where he's going to move over a little bit and cross out. Walk this ball the other way, left yeah. to right. Yeah. He's on it. Three spares in a row. Yeah, this it's one of the things that you know you see with with Bernie and you know he obviously throws a lot of strikes given what his average is and how many stars he's won but he makes the uh, the, the single pin spares two pin spares look like clockwork now, as if they're not stressful at all David looking to carry again on 18 fair break there you see the hands out in front of him he's like okay I can live with that ball is a little high leaves a 2-4 scoop that up get moved David shot at the two and the four quite a bit last game, so he's he's, he's familiar with this spot. And he scoops. Nice shot. Unsurprisingly, he converts. He shot it. He shot it. What was it two two pins and two four pins? Yeah, last game. So let's see if uh, David can uh, put a twenty box here. Trailing by eight, and I can tell you. This match already a lot higher scoring than his final match on this pair last year, which did not get high scoring until the last two Very frames. much so. It was a third ball contest. Here's David on the fill. Eight, nine. Oh, oh hey! Look. Oh, look at the pump. Look at the pump. Did you see it? James Simon, if you're watching this, this is kind of what happened look at last that. year. Oh, Didn't my. It. I'm feeling deja vu. Reminiscent of 2023. The fist. He gets by with a little help from his friends. <laughs> but the uh, very good cross lane action there off the off the left wall. Let's see if that puts any pressure on Bernie. Yep. You never want to strike in your face. And he's, you know, this could cause him to maybe yep. rip. Well, Bernie does not even have ice in his veins. It's probably and, liquid uh, nitrogen. And he goes, it's so cold. yeah, okay. So he strikes. Yeah, you see, I mean, he just comes back very nonchalant. He's you know? like, yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, you consider he's won this 11 times. Think about all the times he's come second. I, I don't know. Well, he probably knows the count, but you're talking maybe a dozen and a half times that Bernie has made the final match. So uh, no stranger to this uh, kind of pressure. I'd be up there sweating buckets. But this is this is Bernie for the double. He's all marked through four. Does not get the seven to go. Uh, Springer. We'll replay that first ball. You see the messenger come across and right in front of the seven and then back off the wall in front of it. Now, seen him do it already on the four seven. Starts right. Three steps, left, right, left. Walk that ball over there, and Bernie Hipkins is all mark through five. It's pretty good. David Hughes stepping up on a strike. But if he down doubles, 18 in the meantime, and he's three out of four marks. But if he doubles, them spares don't mean nothing. Nine spare will never beat triple. Will no. never beat double. No. And that's what I'm... Let's see if he can double here. Yep. But pull the match pretty much even. Maybe. Oh, that's not all bad. He gets the, five, he gets the seven to go. Avoids right. the split. We'll watch it again. Almost got it. Watch the mix. 5-7 for a moment. That, that pin went right in front of the 5. Yep. I think I think 9 is a very fair result there. and 9 spare puts him in, in good shape with the 20 box. He'll be trailing by 8 if he's got it. He's and he on does. it. He's on it. Well, again, a much higher scoring match yeah, than we were defense. treated to by David last year on this pair. Again, it was a... Oh. 
it was it was a third ball contest between uh, James Simon and David Hughes for the first eight frames each, and then they kind of kind of woke it up a bit. Yeah, yeah I remember eight, nine, ten, hit it on. But we're looking at a at a match right now um, on the good wood that you've got nine out of ten marks. That's pretty. That's pretty. With no doubles. No doubles. Good of it. Yep. A lot of good balls. Yep. Which it tells you you make your spares a score in there. Got to make your spare. We haven't had a missed spare yet in the game. David swings the arm, eight off the deck. Killer ball. Just didn't get the messenger that time. And David with an 87 half is going to be trailing. I mean, for, re for reference, folks, that's a that's a, a 174 pace. He is, yourself, he is trailing. Pull yourself these last five frames. Got to keep making these. It's the six ten. Get them both. Mm. I think he's a bit bewildered there. That ball didn't bite. Take Distance. a look at it again. Ball kind of just continued to coast to the right. Good. Didn't pick up. While we're away on replay, he takes the 10 box. Big opening there, 97 in the sixth. Mm. Well, David, David looking shocked that that did not check up and make that spare. But... Um, We've seen it time and time again on Duck Pins Trailer. This is normally when when Bernie sees red and goes goes for the throat. See if he's successful here. He's all marked through five. Off the side. The Eric shot, he gets away with it. 95 to 87 in the fifth. They trade eight counts. Yeah, David having a tough time gaining. He hasn't let him he's up for air yet. He's trying, to, he's trying to tread water. I hope he catches a double soon. That's the one-two for Bernie to go six marks in a row. And, and he's got it. Finds the head pin on that ball. It's 105 plus in the six for Bernie. He's only struck once. He has made everything else that he's left. I think a lowest lowest first ball count is what? Eight? I think it was a single in yeah. the single in yep. the first. Was it a single in the fifth? Single, all yeah. singles. He's throwing, 11, he's throwing 11 balls in six frames. Let's see if he can make it seven in a row. Again, going for a record-setting 12th star, which stand alone. And he rips. And he gets. And I will tell you, this is something that with Bernie's ball roll, he tends to do a lot of, and it's one of the, the hidden X factors, if you will, to his average, that he can hit high and tight and break things up. A great break there to leave the 3 6 10, but more often than, than most, he'll come back and make this. Yeah, you gotta take advantage of it. And he doesn't. And he doesn't. And a, a a little it's a rare miss. So it leaves the door open for Dave. A little bit. David, there's some daylight. David, two marks there's behind, but Bernie's all mark run ends in the seventh frame. The all wood game stays alive. He's got 122. Some daylight there. You know what Dave likes to do. David, David would spare or strike and count can make this a single-digit game. Yeah. Uh, but a, a mark, a mark in one of these two frames is imperative. Absolutely. Yeah. Dave. Oh, there he is, folks. Well, if you heard that at home, that's 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 pretty much what happened. Ten pin last to go. Strike in the seventh. David Dave Hughes, Hughes finds the open door and walks through it. And Dave Hughes has done rocket ships on this lane. I will now say that this ball here in the eighth is going to be now the most important ball of the match up to this point. Absolutely. Uh, but he has been lights out on this left side. I mean, he got the messenger strike. Yep, he and did. Left six ten last. He struck on crush. Yep. 6-10, and he struck in the fourth on this lane. This is David Hughes for the double and the lead. Got a chance. Do you believe it? A little light. Leaves yeah. a 5-10. Just a little light. Now can he slide? And you see the pins are dead there on the mix. 5-10. Uh, they're looking to put it in the same spot. 
to slide it. That ball started on the pocket and then started to break away from it. If he can do that again, he's got a good chance to slide it over. Now. Not sure what he said there. Something about ball choice. And a nine, nine box. Here's a nine. Oh. For the time being, he has caught up some. Seven pin match through seven. With the drop pin he there. Need, he needs another hurt. With, with the drop pin there, it's an effective eight pin lead for Bernie. So it's, call that one mark. And yeah. uh, he, need, he needs those hits. Ball is in, uh, ball's in Bernie's court to force pressure here. Eight frame. High and tight, and eight carries. The four four six. six. Gives it that natural carbon chop. Six down, four down. This pump from Bernie. He knows how important that, that pin carry was. And now gives him an eight pin lead through the eighth with a mark advantage, and it's a strike. Um, another strike here could be closing in on history. And closing in on a dozen. Does he have it? Really? This time he's through the middle. And that's maybe a quarter inch left of the last one. Yeah, it looked good. A quarter inch off, and that's the difference between the heavy hit that carries and the five through the middle. Got to hold count. He takes three. I think that's a smart play. I don't think you try to go for that there. I think you just take your three and two and move on. He gets two more here. He's so here we are again. If he gets two more, he's 150. Here we are again. David Hughes, 9 10. Here we are again. Can, Championship match. Can, David Hughes, ninth and tenth, down a little bit. Can he? Can he do it? It's going to require Mark Mark. So I David see double. David needs Mark Everyone Mark. Everyone wants to see it. He needs Mark Mark to force Bernie to Mark. Um, there's a outside chance David can shut Bernie out. He would need a triple in the ninth, tenth, and eleventh. I, I would love to see this match. If David throws double here, hold on to yep, the they're roof. Fixing, they're fixing the score down there. They have the score written wrong. It's actually, they didn't give Bernie one one pin enough. We have it right on the screen. We have, ours is right. All right, nice frame for David. Very big moment in the match. Does he get it? Oh, oh, you believe in miracles? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Jesse, right, 2023, except the frame sooner. <laughs> David finds the carry on the four, five, seven to strike in the ninth. If he, that's huge. You know what he's thinking. But this you opens up. Think. This opens up options now. Yeah, so you know what he's thinking. He's thinking double, but <laughs> spare for Wayne. Spare. And six forces the mark. I'm telling you, the roof comes off this place if he doesn't. David Hughes can lightning strike twice. Oh, God. Stone cold five. He's got he's to relax here. He's gotta, he has to make this. He has to make this to have a chance. He's going to his side. That was a kill. Definitely could have been two. Got to have it. And he's, on he's it. got it. He's and all over it. Us. Let's go, Dave. All right. Now, David needs six on this ball to force Bernie Hipkins to mark. He can't force him to double, but any but kind of pressure. any kind of six or better. You need a minimum of five. Yes. Six or better. What we all tune in for. How many? Eight, Eight more. Right spot for that. David has given it everything he could have in the last two frames. 62 for David. I think he's done what he needed to do. Bernie Put the pressure all over Bernie. We saw what happened last year when the pressure was on the last box. Can Dave go through one more time? Bernie Hipkins needs 14 to win. 14 pins away from a historic dozen. He's short of that. David repeats a champion. And do it again. Off oh. the side. Hold on. 
No. Three. Two or seven. It's a three pinner. This this thing on the outside will not go. I'm telling you that the seven pin will not go if he hits it on the outside. Gotta find a way to convert this. He must you make it have to run it down. Two, four, seven. Got it. Scoops it. Four pins away. This is basically Bernie needs to find a pocket. Don't He's rip. Four pins away from history. No one has ever won 12 stars on the pop with, and Bernie could be the first one what to do it. What a match. What a match. Needs four. Got ten. ten. And Bernie Hipkins stands alone well with an even dozen. Here's the ball that did it. And that's Hall of Fame perfect, folks. You cannot throw it any better under the circumstances. Bernie Hipkins with 169. David Hughes, 162. They combined for 331. What a match. And Bernie Hipkins stands alone as the only bowler in Pop Witten history to win 12 times.